welcome back to my channel happy 2019 i say this every year but i cannot believe that it is 2019 and we have reached another year just before i get properly into this video i do just want to say i'm really sorry if it looks like i'm not giving much emotion in this video and i might sound a bit funny i may have to have surgery on my jaw um i'm having a lot of pain and a lot of issues with talking and opening it and it clicking and locking and it's all a bit of a nightmare i can't open my mouth terribly wide just as a heads up so today i'm going to be talking about some reading goals for 2019 and some of my reading resolutions and things i want to do with my whole reading existence this year and then also some of my personal life goals and just kind of touching on those things so i just rewatched my 2018 new year's reading goals and life goals and I was very naive. <laughs> I wasn't because if the year had gone okay then I would have been able to do the things I wanted to do but it was just that the year did not particularly go my way. Obviously it is only a couple of days into January and already I know that there is one definite surgery I will be having and a possible second one with my jaw. Immediately I've been told again I am going to be spending some of this year in the hospital which last year was exhausting. Last year I let that be a very negative thing in my life and it's not the it's not a positive it's not positive that I have these illnesses and I have these things that are causing me to miss work and miss doing things I want to do and have to spend time in hospital obviously that's not fun but last year I was so it got me really 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 down and stress and I always try and make jokes about it so I don't want to let it take over my life because I missed out on doing so many things that I love to do and there are days last year where I didn't leave my bed and I hate that feeling of just being in my pajamas and not feeling like I've gotten up and freshened up and I don't know like it, it's just weird so Whilst I know that I have not left the illness issues in 2018, I want to come into 2019 with a more positive outlook towards them because obviously surgery is not fun but it's going to fix it and I really really want to go into 2019 with that positive mindset and really trying to kind of focus on all the other things that will be happening because as well as spending a lot of 2018 really ill i ran a 5k which is ridiculous like i cannot believe i was able to do that I passed my driving test i finished my master's degree i got a job in a place which is super good for my future career goals and i basically did do lots of cool things that were overshadowed and this year i want to have those good things overshadow the negative so yes i will be needing some surgery but this is the year that i graduate from my master's degree this is the year i finally i'm going to get to go to walt disney world this is the year where i am surrounded by so many wonderful people friends and family who i love and have got loads of things planned with and i have so many much positivity surrounding me that i don't want i want that to be the thing which overshadows everything else reading goals wise i want to read 100 books this year last year i read barely any because i didn't have the time or the energy or ability and i am going to make sure that i read 100 books this year that is my goodreads challenge i'm aiming for about 10 books a month obviously i'm aware that's going to be more than 100 books but i'm aiming for 10 because then i can kind of overestimate if i end up with like eight then i'm kind of around that point so it's going to be sort of two to three books a week which i'm aiming to do i want to do i want to give myself that time to read that's my time that kind of just allowing myself to have that reading time and to read these books that i really want to read another reading goal of mine this year is to move on to actually reading books that are on my bookshelf there are books that are coming out this year which i'm super excited about i'm going to be doing a books like most anticipated 2019 video so i'll link that down below when it goes up but there's so many books on my bookshelf which i haven't got around to reading yet and i want to slowly start to make my way through those unless a new book comes out which i'm super excited about and then i will buy that book but i'm not going on like a book buying ban but i'm going on a try and get through these books first unless it's a book you've been anticipating that you know you're going to read immediately as soon as you get it i'm really excited to make 
my way through some books on my shelf because there's so many which I knew like I know I will love and that I knew I would love when I bought them and just never got around to reading them and starting them and I'm super excited to finally do that. Some more reading resolutions and goals for 2019 are that I want to expand and read more of areas that I have found myself really enjoying. The first lot is historical fiction. I have found that I love historical fiction and I'm really enjoying reading historical fiction books so I want to read more of them and branch out and read so many more of them. I've ordered some to come. I bought some the other day with some Christmas vouchers and I'm really excited to get into those and start to reading those and exploring different parts of history within these fictional books and how and seeing their takes on these things that happened and I'm really excited to do that. I also want to read more LGBTQ plus books and I read a lot of those anywhere. I have a whole shelf dedicated to LGBTQ plus literature and I think it's really important that people continue to write it and continue to read it and continue to talk about it because while there is a lot of it there's still not enough queer representation in literature and there needs to be important and you know I do lots of videos where I talk about my favourite ones and new ones and give recommendations because while it isn't its own like genre because it's not they like there'll be fantasy LGBTQ plus books and contemporary and historical and all of that I think that it's important that we know those books so that we can talk about those books and people can find books which they will identify with and find books that they want to see themselves in and relate to and understand and I feel like it's really important. The other day I was watching a video I will link it down below where it was the A to Z is like an A to Z LGBT books tag or something like that and I knew about two of the books that were in the A to Z of the particular video that I watched and it made me realize that there's so many books outside of the books I have on my shelf which I don't know about that I want to read so this year I am going to be finding more of those books reading much many more of those books and expanding my reading area of that so that I can experience so many more stories, share them with others and talk about them because so many of them sound amazing and they deserve to have the same amount of discussion and promotion and like people knowing about them as other books do because they're incredible. Then thirdly I want to read more non-fiction books particularly involving science and maths. I, my degree is science related. I did a psychology degree and an educational psychology degree looking at the brain and different areas and how it influences lots of different things in just my psychology undergrad and then in my masters with education and the brain in education and different disorders, different struggles that people may face within education and what can cause that and treatment for that and how to help. I found that I love science, it's wonderful um, and I love lots of different areas of science and I want to read more into it. Also this year I've been taking an online masters course um, in data science and statistical analysis because I realised I actually really like maths and I love data and I love analysing data and kind of all of that and different areas of maths and as someone I teach students as well and I've just realised they are two areas which I absolutely love and that I don't explore enough so I'd like to read more about them as well and I'd like to read books that fit into with a focus on those topics and have those topics and explore those topics because I want to expand my knowledge in the area. So yeah, so those are some of my reading and personal life goals of 2018, of 2019 and it's just this is what it's going to be lads. It's going to be a good year and I'm not saying that as in nothing's going to go wrong or nothing's going to be, there's not going to be any negative days because there will be but this year I want the positive, I want to use the positive to outshine the negatives because yeah there will be days where they are rubbish but there will also be days that are really good and I'm tired of not appreciating those days as much as I should. I'd love to know what any of your reading goals are or life goals if you want to share them you don't have to but I'd love to know some of your reading ones if you want we can discuss down below. Thank you guys for watching I hope you're doing really 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 well and I will see you next time. Bye!